your collection at Walmart stores and walmart.com. Hello again, I'm Jackie Weaver. Tonight we've turned our focus to two of the best directors who made their marks in cinema during the Australian New Wave film movement of the 1970s and 1980s. We started the night with two films from Gillian Armstrong. Now we continue with the work of Jane Campion. Unlike the other directors we're featuring this month, Jane is not Australian by birth. She was born in Wellington, New Zealand, but emerged as a filmmaker in Australia. After receiving a degree in anthropology and another in fine arts, filmmaking continued to entice her. And like Gillian Armstrong, Jane Campion enrolled at the prestigious Australian Film, Television and Radio School in Sydney. During her second year, she wrote and directed a short film called Peel, which went on to win the Palme d'Or Award at the Cannes Film Festival. Not a bad start. Her feature film debut as a director came in 1989 with the film Sweetie, which you can see right here in just a couple of hours. But it's her second film, An Angel at My Table, that we have for you right now. Based on the autobiography of New Zealand writer Janet Frame, this film is a great example of Jane Campion's interest in the female voice, something she continued to explore in films such as The Piano, The Portrait of a Lady, and in the cut. Jane has said about her heroines, I think of them as going into the underworld in a struggle to make sense of their lives. Unlike her other films, in this one Jane tackles a real life heroine and the amazing true story of a woman struggling with her own demons. Intended as a television miniseries, it was the theatrical release of An Angel at My Table that led to Jane's work on her next project, the Oscar-winning The Piano. From 1990, with Kerry Fox as the adult Janet Frame, here's the TCM premiere of Jane Campion's An Angel at My Table. <laughs> 